to gather some supplies. Joel and I will be on one team. You and Eula can be on the other team. Hey, Joel, see that huge tree over there? Wanna race me there? Yeah, let's do it! Wow, those two are fast! It's hard to tell which of them is having more fun. Hey, what's up with you two? Why are you just staring at each other without saying anything? Um... Well... <clears throat> Joel probably hasn't spent much of his life in the city. He doesn't know me. And he doesn't know what the Lawrence name means to the people in Mondstadt. Right. That's why he calls you Auntie Eula. True. In his eyes, I'm just another ordinary person from Mondstadt. It was a surprise, but not in a bad way at all. Indeed. It's just... <sighs> That's the thing. I'm a little worried that I won't be up to the challenge. I have never built a snowman before. My upbringing was very strict, so I never had the chance when I was a child. And after I grew up, of course, it's not the sort of thing I would spend my time doing. Oh no! I'm starting to feel sorry for you, uh... You sound confident. <laughs> All right then. Enough small talk for now. I see we have a member of the Adventurers Guild joining us. Greetings. We have a slight problem here. We've done a headcount and it turns out that we have an odd number of participants. In other words, we still have one instructor slot left to fill. How it happened was, we originally asked Fischl to be an instructor, but she was busy with something outside of Mondstadt during this period. So, we found another adventurer to fill in for her, but they still haven't shown up yet. Thank goodness you are here. <sighs> oh, hello. My name is Gerald. I'm a new adventurer. Hmm. In that case... <sighs> Fine. But for that, you will pay. Huh? Pay for what? Okay. I got it. I'm ready and willing to learn. Good, good. Then everything is settled. Thank you for your help, Eula. If anybody else signs up later, I may have to ask for your help as well. Why did you give the spot to Eula? <laughs> You're so nice. Paimon noticed you a smile just now. It must have meant a lot to her. To be honest, Eula really is the best candidate for an instructor. Most people would find it hard to cope on the mountain because of the sheer cold, but not her! Oh, now Paimon gets it. This must be the whole reason why Amber got Eula involved in the first place. Um... We were supposed to find supplies, but now Eula's busy with other stuff, and, uh... Paimon doesn't feel like going around collecting things. How do you think Amber and Joel are doing? Let's head up the mountain and see what they're up to!
More speed. I'll protect us. More speed. It's coming from that direction! <laughs> More speed. Brings you to Dragonspine. Oh, so it was Albedo all along! All along? Oh, what do you mean by that? On the way here, we kept hearing weird noises, and it felt like someone was watching us the whole time. Turns out it was just you! Honestly, you really gave us the creeps. If you're bored up here, go find something useful to do. Don't go sneaking around scaring the poop out of people! The things you felt and heard could easily be attributed to animals, or bandits, perhaps. You should be wary at all times in this environment. There are all too many ways to sustain losses here if you aren't careful. So, what business brought you here? We actually came to look for you! But then it turned into looking for Amber, but now we've met you, so we're back to that again. Hmm. <sighs> Your thought process is rather chaotic, as is the way in which you articulate it. Hey! How dare you! All Paimon's trying to say is that we came here to look for you! Oh, is that so? Then it must surely be something of great importance. I'm all ears. He seems to be in a better mood than we thought, right? Does that mean Timaeus' stupidity doesn't really get to him after all? Huh. Okay, let's... Let's just forget that ever came up. That's okay if you can't tell me about it. Just treat this as an opportunity to stroll on the mountain and enjoy the view. So basically, the truth is we're here on adventurer duty. Ah, oh, I see. So you foisted the rookie off onto Eula so that you could wander off and uh, goof around? A friend commissioned me to do some artwork recently, and I have yet to finish. I came here because it's a quiet place where I can gather my thoughts, gather inspiration, and gather some raw materials while I'm at it. Raw materials? For what? Paint. Star silver can be used to make high-quality silver paint. I just ran out of my previous batch, so I'll collect some ore while I'm here. Ore can be used to make paint? Yes. But you have to be selective with the specimens you choose. Even with a high level of impurities, star silver still contains fine silver-colored particles. But they lack luster, which impacts the color saturation of the pigment made from them. Paint made with such pigment is generally viewed as a fake or a defective product. Interesting. So, paint aside, can you talk about how you find inspiration? Paimon wants to learn! You want to learn to paint? No, no, not for me, for the Traveler! Paimon wants the Traveler to learn how to paint. During our travels, we sometimes have nights where there's nothing to do. It sure be nice to do something memorable rather than just sit around. Painting is a great example because it can capture a moment in time. So it seems like it's definitely a worthwhile skill to have. Why not? Once you mastered it, you can paint Paimon! Not a bad idea. Well, since you two would like to learn more about painting, 
Why don't you come with me to the campsite? I have painting materials there. You can practice while I give you some guidance. Sounds great! Oh, she'll be fine. She is a knight of Favonius after all. Let's just forget about all that stuff for now and go with Albedo. Come on, let's go! It's so cold out. Jaime wants to get to the camp and warm up by the fire. Some things are missing. Nothing valuable, hopefully. Wait, where's Paimon's Mora? It's hard to say their value, but some of my alchemy notes are missing. Alchemy notes? Would they fetch a high price? To the uninitiated, they are merely scraps of paper. But for someone who knows what they're doing, the knowledge contained in those notes is more valuable than any treasure. So you're saying only someone who knows alchemy would have stolen them? But the only people who come to Dragonspine are adventurers, thieves, and monsters! What use would any of them have with your notes? I feel the same way. However, hilly trail break-ins and other such incidents are not unheard of on Dragonspine. It's difficult to draw a conclusion based solely on the evidence at hand. <sighs> hmm... These appear to be... Footprints? Fresh ones. Meaning our thief can't have made it far. Let's chase him down! We can't let them get away! From the entrance, the footprints go that way. Lead up there. So they scaled the cliff. Okay, after them. Right. Crush. Oh. 
That's why we have to hurry. Huh? The footprints stop here! Our thief must have jumped from the cliff. Get your wind glider ready. We're going down. Here, more footprints. They're heading to the cavern! Ooh, <laughs> we got you now! You sure can run, but you definitely can't hide! Let's go in! Wait, I have an idea. I'll go in alone. Traveler, please stay here and guard the entrance. This cavern has two points of entry, and there are shortcuts inside. Judging from the state of the footprints, he hasn't been in there long. I should be able to reach the other side before he does. Cut him off at both ends. Good idea! Whoever apprehends the thief first has to notify the other party. This way we're fully covered. Still, safety comes first. We do not yet know the identity of our thief. Please take care. We'll be fine. <sighs> okay, see you shortly. <laughs> of course. I wonder if Albedo found the thief. This is taking forever. Really? Huh. Maybe it just feels like a long time because Paimon hates waiting. Waiting is so boring! Why don't we find something to do to pass the time? You know, something like... Um... Something like... Oh! Look at all that star silver over there! Why don't we gather it up for Albedo? It's right next to the cavern, so we won't be going far. If anything happens inside, we can be right back here in no time! Let's get started! Huh. This stuff looks kind of lackluster. Is that because of the imp- Hey! This one's not bad! Alright, this should be enough. Hmm... Some star silver shines a lot more brightly than others, huh? Finally, you're back! Yes. Sorry. I was unable to catch him. He was faster than I'd imagined. Oh. oh. So after all that, we still don't even know who the thief was? Oh, what a waste! Still, we won't be going back completely empty-handed. We did some mining! Uh, mining? Yeah, for Star Silver. Look, we got quite a lot. It's just like you said. Some are really bright and shiny, and others just look like regular lumps of rock with a little shiny bit here or there. Star Silver. Uh, <laughs> I was merely saying what was on the front of my mind. I hadn't thought you would genuinely go and gather some. Well, you said they can be turned into paint, so we got pretty curious. Also, if it weren't for that thief, we'd be making paint by now anyway, right? Or even painting by this point. Anyway, it's all the thief's fault for wasting our time. Yes, it's all the thief's fault. The notes mean a lot to me. I'm not quite ready to give up the search yet. Let's keep an eye out for clues as we go. Oh, just one thing. Do you want us to bring all this ore back, or did you want to sort through and get rid of the useless bits first? There's no point in bringing the bad ones back if it'll ruin the quality of the paint. Mm, some of them do look pretty dull to Paimon, so it doesn't seem like those will be of any use at all. <sighs> Indeed. The sorting process is necessary. Humans are such practical creatures. They only want those things that are good. Once they have learned to distinguish between good and bad, they will never stop comparing things in their minds. Useless things should be disposed of at the outset. Right! Saves a lot of time that way. Efficiency first. So let's start by... Help! Help me! Wait! 